What's up, guys? Another lesson here for you. I'm just going to piggyback off that last lesson I recorded about music theory and just how important it is to understand that music theory is comprehensive and understanding music, understanding harmony and rhythm and all that is really important that you start in order. Um, it's very much like math. In math, if you want to study algebra but you don't know how to divide or multiply, things get really confusing really quickly. Same thing in music. A lot of people pick up a guitar or start playing a piano and they can play songs or melodies pretty quickly. And it's a lot of fun. So it makes sense that there would be some confusion as how it all works because you didn't actually start from the beginning. So most of the students I teach, I'm kind of rewinding everything back to square one and I'm making sure they know this very first thing, which is step one, which is learn the notes. You got to know the notes if you want to understand harmony. That's what harmony is built by, it is notes. So let's dive in here. I'm going to show you um, the notes, the order of the notes, and I'm going to show you the best ways to memorize them. There's four ways um, to, to memorize them, and um, we'll start with the sharps. So this is very early material chapter one you could think of it as sharps there's sharps and there's flats and the reason for that is you know more chapter two chapter three stuff so we're just going to kind of put that on the back burner but right now looking at the sharps if you sharp a note it is just simply raising the note one half step or just one note up so if you have an f sharp that is just a little bit higher pitch than F. It's the next note. On your guitar, it would be the next fret. F, then F sharp is raising the pitch. And so as I've got the notes here on the screen, if you notice, B and C are right next to each other and E and F are right next to each other. So there's no B sharp and there's no E sharp. Technically speaking, there can be in certain keys, but again, that's down the road. We're keeping it simple. Just sticking with chapter one, laying the foundation here. Okay. So all you have to remember is if you're moving ascending, it's just the alphabet in order. The notes are just the alphabet. The tricky part is, is with the sharps. So if we start on A, then of course we have A sharp, B, then C, because there's no B sharp. Like I just, we just kind of noticed. Then you got C sharp, D, D sharp. E, then F, etc. You can see the notes there. So I would encourage you to learn these notes ascending and descending. Get my metronome going. And, and really, if you want to solidify it, this is the exercise you do. Maybe you write them out. However you prefer to memorize information, go for it. But once you feel like you're pretty confident, get your metronome out. And then you just say them in time. So, for example, if we did sharps ascending, I would say A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, etc. Right? If I was going descending, I would say A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, etc. And you can just loop that. You can just keep going because like on a piano, they just keep repeating over octaves. Okay. So that's the sharps and that should get you going on the sharps. Now let's go to the flats. The flat is just the opposite of a sharp. The flat is lowering the pitch. And so you've got an A, you want to lower it. You go down to A flat. That would be the next note below A. Okay. Now you may be asking yourself, do I call it A flat or do I call it G sharp? This is a good question. Again, this is more chapter two, chapter three material, but just know that they are the same pitch. They produce the same frequency. They're not always referred to with the same name, hence the confusion. So some of these things, you know, are a little confusing. 
some people I know they don't want they only want to see things a certain way I you know just see them as sharps and it's like well go for it (laughs) if you want to do that it's fine but if you want to talk to other musicians if you want to understand music then you should understand how it's been communicated over the past I don't know a few hundred years it's kind of like complaining about the English language about certain grammar and spellings of words it's like well you can complain and it doesn't make any sense and we can all agree that some of this stuff doesn't make any sense but in the end of the day this is what we're using so this is the toolbox this is that we're given and this is what we're going to use and by the way as you progress and as you study this stuff more it will all start to make more sense and you'll start to understand like oh i kind of see why they did that now so back to flats again you want to memorize them ascending and descending and the same thing's going on here b and c no flat in between e and f no flat in between so you just got a a flat b b flat um or excuse me a a flat g g flat f e e flat etc so again get study the study the the order here and then get your metronome out and just say with a a flat g g flat f e e flat d etc go descending and ascending another thing that i should have mentioned before when you first start diving into this stuff learn it without your instrument that's just going to get in the way if you if you really nail this and you get all this memorized and it's just coming to you and it doesn't take long it's just going to be it's just like learning the alphabet it's not you know you put some time in you learn it and it's there now you got to keep kind of reinforcing it but then you grab your instrument this is what's going to ultimately reinforce all the notes you grab your instrument And so now I got E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, etc. C, right? You can start to find these notes. We got A here. There's C, B, B flat, A. This is a D. If I know this is a D, then I know this is an E. I know this is a D sharp or an E flat. I know that's a C. I know that's a C sharp. That's a B, B flat, A, A flat. G. Okay? So this is very, very important that you learn this first. And if you don't learn it, you don't put the time in, but you're still trying to figure out why you don't understand chords and scales, this is why. You got to fill in any blind spots. So you start with the basics. Um, and I encourage you to just do that, go after it, and then start applying it to the fretboard. And if you, it takes a while. And it's, this isn't something you should be rushing or anything. Just notice over time, you're gonna start to memorize the notes. You're gonna start to see them show up on the fretboard. As you start to learn and memorize the fretboard, use any kind of tools, you know. I know I used to use like a little app that had like a, it was like a fretboard quiz kind of thing. I'm sure there's some of those out there. Um, Check those out and just, um, you know, challenge yourself. If you're playing, learning a lick or learning something, ask yourself, what notes are you playing? And that's gonna be a really good way to start to see them on the fretboard. And then you'll have that foundation ready to start learning music theory and start really getting into some of the fun stuff as far as like how it's all, all the harmonies constructed in in the music you're listening to. So um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, Let me know how this information lands and peace out.